Zika de bo de ba de ke de bo ko ke de bo ko da ba di ka ki da ba. Zo di bo di ba ka ki de bo ko do bo do bo do. Di di ba ka ki de bo da ba da ka. Zo da bo de ki da bo da ba. Ki di de bo ko da ba ki da di da di ba. Zo da ba ko do do bo do ba ke de di ka ku da ba ka de 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 bo ko bo do ba di ka ki da ba. Zada bo da ke de di ka ko ke de bo di ba ka ka di bo da ko do bo do ba de di de di da ba ko do ka ba ka da ki di da bo di. Zada bo di de bo da ba da ki di ka ko ka ba de de ke de bo da ba di. Zu da ba da ko ka ke di ke de bo ko ba ke di ka di da ba di. Zo da bo da ba ki da bo de ke de de bo ko bo do ba di ka ki da ba. Zaka do de ba de 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 ba da ba ku di di. Ba do de ke de ba ka ku da ba ka da ke de bo do ba ki da. Zika do de ba ke de de bo ko ba. Za di ba ka ko ka ke de bo di ka ba. Zu di ba do ka ke de de bo da ba ki di de bo da ba. Za da bo de ke da ba ko ka ke di bo da ba ki di ka do da ba di. Zu di ba da ko ba ke de ke de de bo da ba di. Za da bo ko bo di de ba ka ki da ko ba ke da ka di da ba di. Zu di ba do ba ke de ke de ke de bo ko ba ki di di da. Za di bo ko ba de ka. Ku da ke de di bo ka da. Ku de de bo da ba. Zu di ba ka da. Ku da ke de ze di bo ka ke da. Ba ko di de bo da ba di. Za da bo de ke de bo ko bo ko ba ki da ka di da ba di. Za ka ba da ba ku de ke de ba ka da bo do ba ki di di di. Zi da ba ku de ke de ba ka da bo di ka ka di de ba da ba. De de ba ka ku da ki da ke de bo do ko da ba. Thank you Heavenly Father, the great shows God, the omnipotent and omniscience God, the creator of the universe. You are greater than the greatest. You are better than the best. You are the almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the mighty healer, the greatest physician. Lord, we worship you, merciful God, our heavenly Father. We thank you for another privilege in your presence. We thank you for everyone that are online right now joining the service. Lord, we want to ask oh God for the spirit of excellency I ask for the spirit of accuracy. I ask, O oh God, for the attention that the Spirit of God will cause them to give attention in the name of Jesus. We come against every distraction, Lord, in any form, physically or spiritually, Lord. We say no to it tonight in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we commit the service, Lord, your hand. We ask, O oh God, that you come and speak to us yourself. Give us a listening ears. Give us, O oh God, retentive memory so that we'll be able to remember all that we're going to learn. And even as we pray to you, let there be open heavens tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. May your name alone be praised. Lord, we declare this service open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to service tonight again. I hope you had a wonderful week. The Lord is your strength, and the Lord will continually be with you and your household in the name of Jesus. That music session is by Apostle Ben and the Dehomon. I want to be more like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And my prayer for every one of us is to be like him, and if we are like him, there will be peace in the world. And there will be no sickness anywhere. There will be no hatred. There will be no unforgiveness. Everything will work according to the purpose and plan of God. And the Lord is going to take us out there in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That was a wonderful one. Tonight we're going to be looking at the topic before me that says limit distractions. Still on the series that we have been looking at, focusing on God and not man. One of the ways you can focus on God is to limit your distractions. But you know that distractions come in different forms and in different ways. And in all the time, you have distractions coming to you. But we are going to be asking God to help us to limit those distractions so that we are not deviated from what the Lord has actually proposed for us. So that our identity we will not deviate 
or shift our focus away from our identity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now we're going to be taking our scripture from the book of Matthew 6 verse 24. Matthew 6 verse 24. And the topic says again, limit distractions. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, I will limit all distractions and focus on God and him alone. Hallelujah. The Bible said, no one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and money. You cannot serve God and possession. You cannot serve God and fame. You cannot serve God and status or whatever is valued more than the Lord. Anything that is valued more than the Lord in our life, that has taken the place of God in our life, that has shifted cause us to shift our focus from him tonight the lord is going to take them away by his power in the name of jesus whatsoever we have put ourselves into whatsoever the enemy has put upon us to engulf engulf us in those kind of destruction destruction so that we are not focused so that we lose our identity tonight the lord is going to take them away in the name of jesus Distraction is anything that takes your attention away from what you are supposed to be doing. A lot of us are supposed to be um, in ministry, but for the sake of job, what to eat, finances, how to take care of our families, how to meet with financial needs, how to be with other people, be like other people, we have actually lose our focus from what God has called us to do. Distraction is when you are drawn away from purpose. What is the purpose of God for your life? Why has God created you? Every man on earth has a purpose why God has created him or her. So until you discover your purpose, then you'll be distracted. You'll be living in distraction from one place or the other. They say, jack of all trade, master of none. Before you realize it, your age is gone. Hallelujah. But tonight, you're going to rediscover your purpose and everything that has distracted you from fulfilling your purpose, that has fought your identity. The Lord is going to take them away tonight in the name of Jesus. Like I said, distraction is when you are drawn away from purpose. It is those things that take away from focusing on Jesus, that pull you away from focusing on Jesus. It either prevents us from experiencing something God has for us or put us in the wrong position. So many a times you want to take a decision or you want to do something. Say, for example, those that are waiting for God for their life partner. Because you have waited for so long, anyone that comes, you just jump at it. The devil can actually do that to plant the wrong person in your life. The devil will plant the counterfeit. And by the time you see whoever you are seeing, then you've just made up your mind and you are making an error. You don't want to hear from God anymore. Hallelujah. These are distractions. Probably God is actually preparing somebody for you who is going to be a helpmate indeed. But because of distraction, because the devil wants to distract you, the devil will bring the counterfeit. I pray tonight, everyone under the unction of my voice in this category, the Lord is going to remove that counterfeit tonight from your life, even before you get your fingers burnt, in the name of Jesus. It does happen in business, it does happen in ministry. A lot of us are called into ministry, but it is not the right time for us to actually, God want to prepare us and get us to be matured. But the devil will begin to speak to you and begin to tell you the, 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 the opposite. The devil will begin to tell it is time for you to move out. Your, 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 your pastor is using your glory. I've heard a lot of people talk about that. They said the man of God is using my glory. Who told you the devil is only trying to poison your mind? And move you out of the plan and purpose of God for you. If only you can be patient because God is preparing you for greater things. Hallelujah. Is it in business, in the area of business? God is trying to prepare a business for you that will last the test of time. But because you are in a hurry, the devil has brought a counterfeit. Oh, you just see it. You said, wow, this is what I've been waiting for. 
Uh, but that is not what God actually wants for you. A lot of us have been distracted with our jobs. A lot of us have been distracted doing what we are not supposed to be doing. And we find ourselves in the wrong position. We find ourselves in the wrong jobs. We find ourselves in the wrong business. We find ourselves in doing things that are contrary to the will of God. But tonight I see the hand of God redirecting us, taking away those distractions and planting us in our purpose in life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your location determines your allocation. It means that if you are patient enough and you can discover the purpose of God for your life, you do not allow the devil to attack your identity, who you actually are in Jesus. Then you are sure that the sky is not only your limit. Your, the sky is only the beginning of your greatness. I see someone tonight listening to me. The mighty hand of God is going to pull you out from that distraction where you have been kept and be kept in prison spiritually. The mighty hand of God that divided the Red Sea and caused the children of Israel to walk on the belly of the sea. That hand is stretched forth tonight to pull you out from that spiritual prison. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Getting back on track from being spiritually distracted is not difficult. But usually require us to get intentional with our time and attention. Praise God. It is not a difficult thing. It doesn't matter how long you have gone far in that distraction. It doesn't matter how long you have gone deep in that sin, that sinful nature, that unpleasant business, that unguided decision that you have taken. But tonight, the Lord that we serve, the Lord that created the heavens and the earth, is going to bring you out tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm going to look at some few examples of people in the Bible who got distracted in the scripture and they missed their focus. They lost focus from Jesus. Example number one is Peter in the book of Matthew 14 verse 30. Peter began to sing because he took his eyes of Jesus. Any moment you take your eyes of Jesus, any moment you take your focus, your gaze of Jesus, of the Lord, you begin to sink, you begin to sink spiritually and physically. Anytime you do not focus your attention on what God has actually proposed for you to do, the fact that a lot of people are making money doing one particular business doesn't mean you are going to make it in that line of business. You need to discover your identity. You need to discover the purpose why God has called you into this life. Hallelujah. The fact that a lot of people are into ministry doesn't mean you are going to be a minister of the gospel. Every one of us have a place. A place in the house of God. Everyone has a place. And everyone must not be a pupit minister. Hallelujah. Everyone cannot be a pupit minister. People are called to be Sunday school teachers. People are called to be deliverance ministers. People are called to be prayer champions and warriors. People are called to be pastors. There are some that are called to be evangelists, apostles. Hallelujah. It's about discovering your identity. What is your identity tonight? Are you in the wrong business? Are you in the wrong trade? Are you in the wrong ministry? Hallelujah. But tonight the Lord is going to bring you out and every power of destruction that the devil has put on your way, God is going to take them away in the name of Jesus. Peter is one of those people in the scriptures who was distracted. He began to sink. Immediately he lost his focus from Jesus. He turned his gaze away from Jesus and he began to sink. The next person that was distracted in the Bible is a popular prophet, Samson. He was born in Nazareth, but he got distracted by his relationship in the book of Judges chapter 13 to chapter 16. You can read about that. What you find out is a man who had a destiny, but he let his relationship 
distract him from his purpose. Samson's identity was established in God and his Nazarite vow was a part of who Samson was. But unfortunately, he lost it because of distraction. Hallelujah. A lot of us are in this category today because of a particular person, because of that sinful nature in our life, because of the kind of friends we keep, because of evil communication, we have lost our purpose. But tonight, the God of restoration is going to restore everyone in the name of Jesus. It is important to remember that who you are really matters. Your identity will always be a point of attack. While the devil knows your identity, who you are in Christ Jesus, there must going to be an attack. You will be attacked. Any day you confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, and you are genuinely born again and serving God and serving Him in truth, in holiness, in the spirit, attack will come. You are an enemy to the devil. Your identity will always be challenged. Samson's identity was challenged by Delilah. She continued to distract him from his identity and convince him to give away his secret. Before you know it, Samson has given away the secret of his identity. A lot of us has given so many, so many information, secrets, mystery of your identity to the enemy. But tonight, I see restoration in the name of Jesus. Another person in the Bible who was distracted is David. David, in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 11, verse 1 to the end, you will find that the Bible, that a number of people were distracted by relationship. David is not an exception. Lost and sexuality is a massive distraction for so many people, and David wasn't different. And that is why you see so many believers today, they get distracted with sexuality. They get distracted with lust. They get distracted with materialism. You believe so much in what other people are having. You want to build homes like others. You want to own cars like the people in the world. You want to do business like them. You are forgotten your identity. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added. Show me a man who prayed to God, who has a relationship with Jesus. In the next 20 years, everyone who have been struggling, who have been struggling without a relationship with Jesus, will return back to them asking for help. It might be spiritual help. It might be financial help. But I pray for you tonight. The God that created the heavens and the earth is going to set you free tonight. David was meant to be in the war front. It is the history of kings to be in war. But David sent people ahead and David remained in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And his responsibility was to be at war with his men. Instead, he stayed in Jerusalem. And because he was there, he created an opportunity for him to be distracted. He went to the rooftop. You know the story. He went to the rooftop and he saw a woman, Bathsheba, bathing naked. And David sent for her. David slept with her because he was distracted. He was not where he's supposed to be at that time. David was meant to be in the war front. If he was there, this opportunity wouldn't have come up for him to mess up. A lot of us, we are at the wrong place and at the right time. We are at the wrong place. Today, God is going to position us. Hallelujah. And David had a relationship with Bathsheba. And because her husband Uriah was in David's army, David, after he has done this evil, 
He went further to commit more atrocity, killed the husband, Uriah, and took Bathsheba as a wife. But trust God, David got what he wanted, and God dealt with him. Hallelujah. The next person that was deceived in the Bible is Eve. In the Garden of Eden, everything was provided, and the serpent was able to distract Eve when she was isolated. A lot of believers want to be isolated. They don't want to associate with anyone. The people you might need to build you up, to stay up your focus, for you to be focused in your calling, to you, for you to be focused on your purpose, might be the community, it might be your church members, it might be friends. People want to isolate themselves. Because Eve was isolated, the serpent succeeded over her and she was deceived. The serpent lied to her and convinced her that what God really said wasn't true. And she got distracted and made a mistake. Have you made a mistake? Have you made a mistake tonight? I want us to pray. I see God taking away that mistake tonight in the name of Jesus. The book of John 10 verse 10, the Bible said, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that I may have life. I have it more abundantly. Distraction, distraction can come in the form of an attack to your identity. It might come as a speed to slow you down or as a speed. Timing in the kingdom of God is critical in most times. Timing is very, very critical. Often distractions come in this area because we are very, very impatient. And the enemy will take advantage of that. Hallelujah. And the devil will present a counterfeit. Every counterfeit that will be presented before you tonight. I see the fire of God consuming them tonight in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. You're going to cry to God and say, Heavenly Father, in every area where I have been distracted, O oh God, I have lost focus. In every area where the enemy has attacked my identity and caused me to be distracted, to lose focus, Lord. Every form of dissatisfaction in the things of the Lord. Every form of dissatisfaction in what you have called me to do. Father, take them away to that. I want to believe that you are praying. I want you to pray from the bottom of your heart. The God that answered by fire is in the house tonight to answer you. Everyone under the unction of my voice, everything that has distracted you thus far, I see the finger of God take them away tonight. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Every form of distraction that has attacked your purpose, every form of distraction that has attacked your identity, that has attacked your identity. Zide boke de baku di daba zakada bado di de boko boko badi de ke de boko badi daddy help me to deal with o oh god every form of distraction daddy help me to overcome lord every form of distraction every spiritual distraction every physical distraction every marital distraction every distraction in my ministry every distraction in my job Oh, bake ze de ke de ba. Du ka ba di di ke de bo. Daddy, help everyone to go tonight. Daddy, help everyone o tonight. You said in your word in the book of Psalm 50, 50 verse 15, say, call unto me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will glorify my name. Father, Lord, help your children. Everyone under the unction of my voice. 
in every area where they have been distracted, Lord. Every area where their identity, Lord God, has been distracted. Every area where they have lost their vision. Every area where they have been dissatisfied. Bakazo de bado kaki dike de bodo badi kaki daba. Zidabo kake de boko bodo bade kake dabadi. Zadabo de ke de boko bade ke de boko badi. De daba ko da ke dadi boko bodo badi kaki daba. Zike de bo da kako kabadi kaki daba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to pray to God. The first way to overcome distraction is for you to identify what your purpose is in life. Many of us do not know what our purpose is, why God created us. There is a purpose for which you were created. I want you to cry to God and say, Lord, help me to discover my purpose in life. Daddy, help me to discover my purpose. Daddy, help me to discover my purpose, Lord. Daddy, help me to discover my purpose. I pray for everyone, Lord, that is hearing me right now. That you help them to discover their purpose. Help them to identify the reason why you brought them to this earth, planet Earth. Their purpose, their purpose, their reason, their purpose. Lord, Baba, help them, oh God, to now reveal to them, Lord. Open their eye to see. Daddy, bring the opportunity for them to discover their purpose. Their purpose in life, their purpose for their children. Children, the purpose for their spouses. Oh, baka zudi ba ki de ke de zedi koba ke ke de boko bada zudi ba kadi ke de boko ba de di de ba zaki da ba ku kadi de ke de bodo ba. Daddy, open their eyes, Lord, to see their purpose. Daddy, open their heart to God to receive their purpose. Daddy, so many of them, even when you are speaking to them, Lord, they begin to bind the devil. They begin to cast the devil. Because they do not know the purpose for which you have called them. Because they do not know the voice that is speaking to them. Lord, I pray for everyone under the unction of my voice tonight. That you help them to discover their purpose. Daddy, as you speak to them and reveal yourself to them. Daddy, the grace for them to know who is speaking. Lord, release the purpose. Daddy, release their purpose. Daddy, release their purpose for them. Daddy, open the eyes of understanding. Daddy, Lord, let that opportunity play around for them to be able to discover, for them to identify their purpose in life, for them to discover their purpose. In the name of Jesus, Daddy Lord, open that opportunity for them. Baba Lord, bring them closer to yourself. Speak to them in the language that they will understand, that they may discover their purpose and begin to walk in that purpose. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You're going to pray to God and say, Lord, in every area where the enemy has attacked my identity, oh Lord, Baba, reverse it tonight. In the name of Jesus, every attack of the enemy against the identity of these ones that are under the unction of my voice, Heavenly Father, Lord, Daddy, today, reverse it, Lord. The God that reverse every reversible, Daddy, I call out to you tonight, everyone, oh God, that is hearing me at this instant, I pray for them, Lord Jesus, prophetically, that every area where the devil has attacked their identity, Daddy, Lord, I pray today, Lord, let, oh God, that attack expire. In the name of Jesus, as many, oh God, who the devil has attacked their mind, Daddy, oh God, they no longer find pleasure in doing the things of the Lord. Daddy, Lord, they find discouragement. Every time they want to do it, Lord, they are discouraged. Lord, I speak to their mind right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray that their mind be quickened. In the name of Jesus, that the blood of Jesus Jesus will begin to wash their heart. Bakazo da kudi da badide zeke de bokoba kadi da boka kidaba zudi bako di kede bokoba kadi daba zadabodo kede kede kadi bokoba di zika kukaba kadi de zodo boko bodo badi kaki da kadaba zadabode kede boko boko badi di di bako ba kadi kaki da kida bada boko bodo badi kaki daba zika do de bado kake da badi. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're going to pray 
For as many of you that are planning to go into business, you are here to make a decision. You are about to take a decision. So many of you that are planning to get married, be male or female, so that the devil will not bring counterfeit into your, into your way. That is what we're going to pray tonight. That the Lord should take away the power of the counterfeit. That the devil will not succeed to put counterfeit on your way. The devil will not succeed to put counterfeit on your way. The devil will not succeed to use Jezebel to destroy, to destroy, to destroy your purpose. To destroy, to distract you from your purpose like something. In the name of Jesus, Delilah succeeded to destroy and to distract something, and something lost it. You are going to pray to God, as many of God that are making decisions at this time, as many that are in relationship, they want to get married, as many of God that want to go into business, they have business proposals. Lord, you help them to take the right decision. Daddy, we pray for them, Lord Jesus, that every counterfeit that the devil is bringing into their way. As many of your children, oh God, who have been distracted, oh God, by the kind of job that they do that has taken the place of God in their life. Oh, I pray to my Lord, let that contract be ended. Let that contract come to an end. Let God take you to the right place. The right place of your purpose. The right place of your purpose. The job that will give you time for Jesus. The job that will give you time to fulfill purpose. The job that will allow you to do things to fulfill purpose. If you are in the wrong business, the Lord is going to relocate you. Bakazo de de bakadu da bakida. Zikado bakeke de bokobadi. Akadibo kodobo do badi. Everyone in wrong ministry. Everyone that is in wrong ministry, you are not in the purpose of your calling. Stay in the purpose of your calling. What are you called to do? Have you been called to carry the bag of your pastor? Have you been called to just preach church and begin to share to people? Have you been called to evangelize? Have you been called in the hospitality department? Have you been called even to pray for nations and pray for families? I pray for you tonight. The Lord will help you to discover your purpose. The Lord will help you to discover your purpose. And every attack of the enemy against your identity, every attack of the enemy against your purpose, I destroy that attack now by the blood of Jesus. The Bible said in the book of Revelation 12, 11, it said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Oh, bakazadi kado, zidi bakoke de badaka di de bodo, zikado bakke. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. So many people have lost their focus because of the things of life. Poverty. So many have lost their focus as a result of affliction, what they are going through in life. But tonight, I see that affliction being terminated in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. Every affliction that has caused, oh God, this one, so oh God, to be distracted. Sickness and affliction, disease, poverty, Lord, every long-standing trouble, every long-standing trouble that has found expression in the life of your children under the unction of my voice. That has caused them to be distracted, that the enemy has put on their way so that they lose focus, so that they will miss their purpose, so that they forget their identity. Lord, I pray you terminate it tonight. In the name of Jesus, as they are praying right now, I pray, Lord, you terminate it by the blood of Jesus. I terminate that affliction. I terminate that sickness. I terminate that trouble. I terminate that delay, that unfruitfulness. I terminate it by the blood of Jesus. I terminate it by the blood of Jesus. The Bible said to me in the book of Matthew 16, verse 19, it said, Behold, Richard, I've given you the keys of the heavenly kingdom. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, and what you lose on earth is lost in heaven. I stand on that word of God and as many that are hearing me right now who have been held bound by affliction, by delay, by unfruitfulness. Oh, 
poverty, lack of job that has caused people to lose their purpose. Oh, bakazi kada ba deke debo do koda ba. Di debo da ki kako kaba di da. Zike debo ko ke debo di kaba ke debo do ko ba kada ba di. I command that affliction to come to an end tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Paraventure, you are blessed. By this broadcast, I want you to share it. Send it to other people so that they get blessed. And if you are hearing me, you are not born again. Any life without Jesus has no safety. Jesus is the safety, the guarantee, the insurance that you have got. And if you are not saved, you are not born again, it is an opportunity tonight because Jesus is waiting. He's a merciful God and a faithful God. He's waiting and knocking at the door of your heart. If only you will open that door tonight, he will come in and dine with you and begin to fellowship with you. If you are in the house, you are in that category, you want to say, Richard, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want you to say this word after me. Father, I come to you by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and personal Savior. Father, take over my heart. Remove the stony heart from me. Help me not to sin anymore. Destroy the power of sin in my life. And help me to live a life of righteousness. Make me whole again. Destroy every form of destruction in my life. Help me to be focused in you. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I am not born again by faith. Thank you, Father, because you have done it. For in Jesus' name, I have made this confession. Congratulations to you if you have just made that confession. I want to encourage you to look for a Bible-believing church around you where you can fellowship with brethren. The Bible says we should not despise the gathering of his children. The Bible said, iron sharpeneth iron. When you begin to fellowship with brethren, study his word, pray to him at all times, you see God come to fellowship with you, just like in the days of old when he comes to the garden of Eden to fellowship with Adam and Eve. God will begin to fellowship with you. I see the power of God uphold you. And uphold your salvation in Jesus' name. For every one of you out there, I want you to lift up your hand as I pray for you. As I pray for you in closing, Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. The King of all glory, the ancient of all days, the I am that I am, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, incomparable God, the omnipotent and many signs God. The God that doeth what no man can do. Father, thank you. I give you praise for what you have been doing even on this platform. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for salvation of souls. May your name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. Father, I commit your children, Lord, tonight, Lord, your hand. I pray, Lord Jesus, every power of destruction that the enemy has put on their way to cause them to lose their focus to miss their identity, to destroy their identity, to attack their identity. Lord, I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that the mention of the name of Jesus is every knee bow, said of things on earth, of things in heaven, and of things on the knee the earth. Lord, I speak, Lord, as your son, that tonight whatsoever attack that the devil has launched against this one's purpose and their identity, that it by the blood of Jesus we cancel that attack tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, as I release them into the weak, Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, they will not be victim of circumstances. I pray that your hand of greatness will be upon them. I pray that you reveal yourself to them tonight. As many that are sick, you take them to your spiritual theater and operate upon their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, as many, O oh God, who destruction has been as a result of poverty, sickness, and disease. Challenges of life. Father, you are a merciful God. Remember your word in Isaiah 48 verse 11. Say, for my name's sake, I will do it. How will I allow my name to be robbed in the morning? Father, because your name is involved, 
I call on you, merciful God, that you visit each and every one of them. You know them by their names. As they hear my voice right now, Lord, I pray you visit each and every one of them. Take away that reproach in their life and cause them to focus on you and depend on you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. The service has come to an end. I want us to share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life, and I am dwelling in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Drop us an email on rocg.tlg at gmail.com. I repeat, rocg.tlg at gmail.com. Drop us an email. Tell us what the Lord is doing in your life. And we want to share in your testimony as I release you into the week. Go in peace until I see you next Sunday by the special grace of God. The power of God is going to uphold you. See you next Sunday. Have a good evening. Bye-bye for now.